That's my boy Blue. <laughs> I'm not gonna get this right. There's no way. This is the Fender 2020 Limited Edition Princeton Reverb Celestian Blue Chilla Witch Denim. You got that? Let me try that without looking. This is the 2020 Fender Princeton Reverb Celestian Alnico Blue Chilla Witch Denim. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, I think this amp looks amazing. How does it sound? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Landon, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click a like on the video if uh, you do like the video. I just noticed it's not very good advertising. I'm trying to do a Fender video. You'll never know what this is. You'll never know what that was. All right, hey, hope you're doing well. This is uh, an amp review and an amp demo. And um, I do a lot of guitar reviews, guitar demos. I don't do a lot of amp demos just because it's not something that I tend to go through, cycling through. I cycle through guitars a lot more than I do with amps. I think the last amp demo I did was probably my Vox AC15. Anyways, it's uh, 2020, the weirdest year ever in the history of ever. And um, Fender released uh, a limited edition Princeton reverb. And it's kind of off camera a little bit there, but don't worry, you'll get to see it up close later. And hear it too. I'm just holding the manual here. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, yeah, so they've released this limited edition Chillowitch Denim Blue Princeton Reverb, which I think looks amazing. Uh, I've always wanted a Fender clean tube amp, something with like Fender, classic Fender clean sounds. And I've always wanted Alnico Blue Celestian. Uh, it's a 12 inch. Normally it's a 10 inch speaker in those amps. I did a, a quick first impressions video. If you want to check that out, take a look in the cards then come back and watch this again. So this is going to be more of an in-depth video. I'm going to actually mic up the amp. I mic it up with two, uh, two mics, a ribbon mic and an SM57. So this is going to be like a proper demo. The last one I said was kind of like a rough first impressions. This is going to be more of a, a full step-by-step -step deep dive. If you've seen my other, uh, videos, I do guitar deep dives and um, I go through all the specs. I open up the guitars, I, I look inside. So what I thought I'd do with this amp is pull it apart and try to put it back together and see if I can get it working. That's not, I was just seeing if you're listening. If you're not listening, maybe I got your attention. No, I'm not, I'm not opening this amp. I don't touch amps. That's something, it's not worth dying. I don't, I don't think it's worth dying. You can kill yourself if you touch the inside of an amp. Look it up. I'm not going to teach you about that today. You can learn that on your own. Shouldn't even be talking about this. <laughs> um, no, so uh, I'm not going to open up the amp, but I will go through all the specs and we're going to hear it. Basically what I have planned for this video, and there'll be timestamps. You can take a look. I always like to do the timestamps because I really find them helpful. And um, the new feature with YouTube that they've added recently was the, uh, the timestamps actually link to like a chapter in the, uh, the play line or the playhead, whatever you call it. The, uh, the red line where you click along and you can click along and find the different parts. I really like that. I think it's cool. So I take advantage of that. So the video is going to be broken up into uh, three major sections. Uh, I'll go over the specs and uh, we'll take a look at it close up. The second part we'll get into uh, sounds. And I plan to play, I think in my uh, first impressions video I said I was going to play through a Telecaster, Stratocaster, and a Starcaster. I also recently got a new guitar that has P90s. So I plan to use P90s. Um, I've also got Shawbuckers in another telly. So I'm going to play through a bunch of different stuff so you can hear how it sounds comparatively between uh, different pickups, different guitars. Uh, so yeah, play through a bunch of different guitars. The last part will be my summary where I do like pros and cons. And uh, I bought this amp. So this is mine to own. This isn't something that was sent to me to check out or anything like that. Yeah, so specs, sounds, pros and cons, basically like that. The reason I got this book out here this is the manual that comes with it, but it's um, it's like a generic manual that they throw in. Uh, it's a limited edition model. So I'm going to read the stuff that you'd normally get with the Princeton Reverb that does not apply necessarily to the one I have. So they say it's 15 watts of power, 10 inch Jensen C10R speaker for spanky vintage tones. We'll have to see how spanky this one is. All right, let's get going with the video and uh, we'll check it out. All right, let's get going with the specs. First thing to note, this music is not from the Princeton amp. This is just some background music that I thought, hey, this sounds really nice. So, so the front's got two uh, instrument inputs. You got a one and a two. The, uh, the second input operates at minus six dB. So then you got your volume, treble, bass, reverb, speed, and intensity. And that's for the vibrato. And then just taking a look 
at the uh, the front there. Some nice zoom outs. Uh, I'm trying to capture everything so you can actually see what the stuff looks like close up. The blue jewel, that's amazing. I love the blues. Here's the uh, two foot, two foot, yeah, two foot, two uh, two channel <laughs> pedal made in Mexico, which makes me wonder where's the amp actually made. I think it's made in the U.S., but I'm not sure. Um, there's the back panel here. You can see you got the speaker out. You can do an external speaker foot switch, and then the uh, the reverb tank. It's got the uh, the two in and outs there, and just trying to show the uh, the tubes. This thing is very tuby. A lot of tubes in this amp. If you pulled the panel off, this is a standard Princeton, a picture from one. You can see the tubes that are there, and uh, I'll read them off in just a second, but just want to show them off. It's like they're in a they're in jail here. They're in a cage, just protecting them. I guess you know, don't want them to get knocked around. There's the actual tubes. If you recognize the names, they're all lined up on the side there. You can see them close up. There's just quality assurance signature from somebody who did some testing. On the back, it's got the uh, the Fender Limited Edition Genuine Amplifier. And here's a huge highlight for me. It's a Celestian G12 Alnico Blue speaker. And it is a 12 inch, it's not a 10 inch. Some sites say 10 inch, so there's some conflicting specs on different sites. Here's the giant reverb tank that's wrapped up. I thought it was in uh, a cover, but it's, it's just the wrapping to hold it down. And uh, here, we'll just do some more close-ups. And I'm just trying to capture some close-ups here. You can see the, uh, the Chilowich denim, which I didn't know what that was, but it's like a plastic. It's not like denim jeans. So uh, just do some more close-ups here and I'll read over the actual specs, the official specs. So it's got, uh, the power tubes are two 6V6s, the preamp tubes are three 12AX7s and one 12AT7, and it's got a rectifier tube. It's a, a one by five a R4. You can tell I don't know what I'm talking about. Rectifier, damn near killed the fire. Sorry. The cabinet is seven ply, five eighths inch birch plywood, so it's a nice heavy wood. Um, a couple of questions maybe you guys can answer in, in the comments. Is it a 15 watt or a 12 watt amp? Because I see conflicting information, different specs on different sites. And uh, yeah, it's kind of confusing. And is it made in the US or is it made in Mexico? I'm sure if I ripped it open, I could actually see a marking inside to see that it was made somewhere. So if you happen to know if it's made in Mexico or made in the US, just let me know below. And right now we'll move on to uh, some playing demos and some tones. Thank you. 
This is my summary. This is my pros and cons. I can just say flat out, I love the amp. It's like a dream amp for me. Everything about it has been amazing. Um, and these pros and cons, I just, you know, it's, it's usually general things that I notice. It's not things that are terrible, but uh, I always like to uh, point out things that I like and that I don't like. So let's go over the pros first of all. And these are all personal opinion, right? You can agree with me or not. First of all, I think the, uh, the look, the look of the, uh, the blue denim, that's, I've had some mixed comments on that. Some people don't like the look. Overall, people like it. I definitely love it. So they got the blue theme, right? They got the blue denim. They got the blue jewel, blue speaker, everything blue. That's why it's my blue. I'm just going to call it blue from now on. I think that's uh, much easier than the, the full name that they gave it. I think the reverb tank is mystical. Is that a good word for a reverb tank? That thing is amazing. The uh, Celestian Alnico Blue 12-inch speaker, which is, I think, a huge upgrade. If I was going to buy one of those alone on it by itself, they're, they're close to $400 here in Canada. So, I mean, the amp was more expensive than a, a typical um, Princeton Reverb, but that's part of the cost. So, it's and it sounds great. I love it. And this amp, this wasn't something I originally had even thought of, but my, my friend told me, plug in some pedals. It should take them really well. And uh, he wasn't wrong. He was absolutely right. Uh, I plugged in, I've got a pedal board down here and I plugged in a bunch of stuff one day. This is a, like a week ago when I first got it. And I was blown away by how well it took them. So really, really cool. Now my cons. And uh, these are pretty weak. These are pretty weak cons. These are just like, you know, little nitpicky things. The price, it's more expensive, but I just kind of explained. The price might turn people off. Um, I think it was $11.99 in the U.S., and it's like f uh, 15 something in Canada. I should know this, right? Get your facts. I'll put it up on screen right here. That's what it is in Canada. That's what it is in America. 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 United States. Well, states. The states of America. If you don't have the kind of space for loud amp, still talking about cons here, it's kind of got to be turned up pretty loud to get to the sweet spot. And the sweet spot is around the five on the volume. And um, actually Shane in, from In The Blues mentioned that. He said uh, the sweet spot is between four and five. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. And I didn't really know what he meant until I actually did it. And I'm like, whoa, yeah. That actually uh, makes a big difference. It starts to really pump the air. It just sounds wrong. That's pretty much it for cons. So that's my pros and cons. Do I recommend this amp? Yes. Is it for everybody? No. Is anything for everybody? No. Is that what I meant? I like it. It's for me. It's what I wanted. Uh, it's exactly what I wanted. It's what I expected. That's the main thing. I wanted to get a Fender amp. I mentioned that at the beginning. Uh, Fender tube amp for a long time. And I kept, uh, I asked a few times on either on my, my community tab or somewhere. So what do you guys think of the Blues Deluxe? No, Blues Junior. Blues Junior. And some, a few people said, hey, take a look at the Princeton. And I was like, ah, uh, it's a big price jump. And the 10 inch speaker and I was kind of like, yeah, I don't think that's the right thing. And then this thing appeared out of nowhere, 12 inch speaker, blue, and it's blue. I said that how many times? Um, and that just did it for me. I was like, oh, okay, I think that's the one. Yeah, that's, uh, it speaks for itself, right? You heard it. Hopefully I captured the things. That's the thing when I try to capture, when I capture the audio, I'm trying to get a really good representation of what I'm hearing in the room, which is never, ever perfect, right? It's not, sometimes I actually uh, hear stuff recorded that sounds better than what I hear in the room and vice versa. Sometimes, sometimes I do a recording, it sounds like garbage and I'm like, that's going to sound terrible. I go back and listen to my recordings and they sound really good. So you never know, right? So hopefully that came across well, that you could hear it well. And uh, yeah, so many good things to say about this amp. It's a, it's a limited edition, so that means, from what I understand, limited edition means it might be only this year that they're making it, but it's available anywhere, I think. I think FSR, Fender Special Run, or whatever that acronym stands for, I think that means only certain stores get it in each country. So uh, if I can find links to that, affiliate links or whatever, I'll put them in the description. Um, that's the thing, there's no official web page for this one. I couldn't find an official link from Fender.com for this amp, so... Uh, I'll put other links if you want to take a look and uh, check them out. That'd be cool. If you have any questions about the amp, anything, let me know in the comments. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What's your favorite Princeton amp? Have you ever tried a Princeton amp? What's your favorite Fender tube amp? I could keep listing questions. Hey, 
What's your favorite color of cereal? Man, this guy's weird. That's gonna do it for this video. Again, I'm Landon. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Click a like on the video if you did like it. Share it around. Share around my channel. And uh, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Wait. That, okay, that. This is the Fender 2020 Limited Edition. Blade on him, blade on him, blade on him.